where would you guys like me to go? Should we do another billable one and kind of do it in a different way? Or do you guys want to? Why don't you do what you just talked about, Tarantino, because I think that's what people are wanting, to be able to okay. Just okay. accumulate their hours, send it all Okay, billable. so we use subs on this particular one, okay? And so under 23, what we did is we actually had the starting piece right here, and we didn't even have the ending time. We didn't even have a main amount. It is connected now to 37 which is that other invoice, okay? So we start creating these new little links and stuff. But we, we came down here and we were like, plunk, 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 plunk. This was a sub of the main. What we wanted to do is we wanted to say, Shannon, let's make another um, new invoice, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna add a new element of time using the current template. Click it. Um, let's just call it uh, job one. So okay. you just want a new element of time for every consult? Well, it depends. It depends. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference. Let's okay. say we did from 6 to 8 p.m. and we physically knew um, how long it really was taking. Okay, boom. That's going to add two hours. Auto calculate that. I know that that's two hours of work, so that's uh, 85 bucks times two. That's what 170 ish. Except I think you added eight hours of work. Oh, okay. Good call. I wanted it just to go to 8 p.m. Good call. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, you come down here and you say, hey, you know what? This needs to be invoiced. I don't know that yet. And I'm eventually going to tie it to Shannon. And here's what I did. Okay. Add that element of time. Boom. It says, which Shannon did you want to assign that to? Assign it. Boom. So automatically, I already have a general amount. 170 bucks needs to be invoiced. And it doesn't have any subs right now. All of what I did was here. Okay? It's kind of a main element of time. So what I would, could do again is I could basically say, hey, we're going to add another one for Shannon. And say this was a job two or whatever you were doing. And let's say that we actually did, uh, let's do it on a, it doesn't matter if it's a futuristic date or whatever. Let's just put it tomorrow. And we're actually going to work the same thing. We're going to go at three to seven. So we're going to add four hours. Once again, if you wanted to, you could physically go here, but then you have to put the date and the time in, but it allows you to kind of like do stuff specifically. Okay? Four hours. Right here, auto-calculate that. So four hours times 85. I would actually pull up a little calculator, personally. Anybody can do four times 85? 300 and something. 340. 340? Okay. Basically, uh, this is how I would kind of do it. It needs to be invoiced. Don't know that yet. Down here, Shannon. Okay. Here's what else I did. And then ideally you would kind of, once again, write, write, write whatever you needed to write. Okay. Add the element of time. So let's assign that also to Shannon. So basically I have two elements of time. If I click on Shannon, this little thing called grouped by Shannon, Shannon Moore has three of them. Uh, one of them has been invoiced, and two of them need to be invoiced right now for a total of $510. So it's starting to help me with some of the math. So if I even click on this right here, this is how you can technically say, which ones do I want to add to the cart, okay? It's going to start helping me. Like, see how it's kind of helping me do some of the math because I already had those things kind of totaled in there? Boom, let's add those things to the cart. Here's Shannon. It still brought in my super cool ship to address. I'm going to remove that. We'll have to fix that if we're going to use her again. But basically, it's starting to do some math for me because I used mains instead of subs. Like the subs, it didn't really know how to calculate all of that, if that makes sense. It's like, hey, you've got a total of six hours for 510, okay? So here's my two elements of time. All I would have to do right here is come up and say consulting. And we're going to do 85, and it was six hours, right? Boom. Shannon, here's my date, here's my line item, here's my two elements of time, and I'm going to put some printable notes. I'm so mad at myself. Okay. Like, oh, I don't even know about the time. So here we go. We'll <laughs> say update cart. We'll say checkout. And uh, say we didn't get a payment from Shannon, but she'll pay us later. Boom. Create the invoice. So here's her invoice now, okay? Invoice 38, it's to Shannon for 510, 6 at 85 for 510, and it's tied to two elements of time. 
and technically this would have whatever notes you wanted to do. If this was offensive and you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't really want that, once again, you have the options. You come up here and you say, hide those elements of time, okay? Okay, sweet. I'm going to save it as a PDF just like this. Click <laughs> without the elements of time. So you can hide or show those type of things, but basically there's your invoice. And now if I actually go back to Shannon, let's go back here to her log, to Shannon's log. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff over here we've never played with before, okay? So watch this. It says, here's all of the things I've done. Here's year to date. Here's groups. Here's new. If I go to groups, it's going to say three of them have actually been invoiced, okay? Here's my total amount that I've invoiced her for all of these different things. I could easily get back to any pieces that I needed to. Okay. Oh, from Shannon? Yes, you sure could. Yeah. Um, so basically right here, if you say all statements here to date for Shannon, if you want them to from here, you can say all statements here to date. Let's create a new one. Should remember I was on Shannon. Let's say, uh, let's do from 7-1 to, who knows, 9-30. And this is a sub thing because she's actually attached to other little sub pieces. So, like you may not see that. It depends on if you start having little subs of subs. Okay? So I would just leave it and we'll just go build that. So here we go. We would come in here and say, but you know what? This is going to be due by the end of the month. So this is actually about a net 15. Or how about this? Kind of like Might need to polish some more golf clubs for you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so check this out. Here's a, a bunch of other ones, pending, pending, pending. This one actually had a little bit of a uh, uh, partial payment, but it's still short, just a little bit. So I'm going to leave all of that on her statement, okay? Come down to the bottom and say, create that statement. Okay, so basically I can send this to her and say, Shannon, the total that you now owe me is 528.48. Okay. Please remit. Party words out, Joe. I'm going to polish more clubs. Polish more, more clubs. <laughs> There's plenty uh, with buying me lunch. Okay, okay, <laughs> awesome. I like how it's set up like that, kind of like your payables when you go to pay a bill because you have all your open POs and you can just click them and put them out and that's how it looks, you know? Okay, correct. Like so the first way we went, we started, Russell had a question about subs and so I was like, okay, well, let's dive off into subs. But technically the way we kind of created the invoicing process was, was main, 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 mm -hmm. main, and then grouping them all together into a, okay. a value, because then all of a sudden you start knowing what's really happening. But, um, there are lots of lots of options. Uh, one of the cool things is, is uh, let's actually go here. So we've just been playing for a little bit. We've already added 26 elements of time, okay? We have working with Joe, like these are just some of the captions. We have templates, so here's all our quick notes, here's our Joe's billing, Here's our appointments. If I want to filter this more, not a problem. Watch this. What would you like to see? Oh, you know what? I really want to see the notes. That was very important. I don't really care about the area, but I do want to see the debt. I don't care about the target date. I do want to see who that is. I'm not worried about the status. Uh, let's leave that. Leave that. Good. Awesome. And by the way, I just want the jobs billing pieces. Ready? Go. Okay, so everything that we were looking at, and all of a sudden it's like, these are just my jobs billing with the notes, and I took off all that other stuff. But I would recommend, like, as a consultant, to even put your mileage in your notes. Oh, for sure, that. for sure. That's one thing that I'm, like, always forgetting to do is keep a log, you know? So if you just, while you're already in there with your client, you know, and you're on your way, you can just build your your element of time and then just put, you know, where you started, and then later on you can put it back in, and then, you know, that's, like, really useful. Okay, um, you can do lots of stuff with elements of time. You really can. Okay, let's go back to the main time homepage. Okay, um, watch something that may happen right here. Let's say that we actually had some Atlas training that's going to go from the 16th to the, to the 18th. Okay, so I'm going to start here, and it actually started at 9 o'clock a.m. on the 16th. And say I was going to put this under something that I knew that I had actually like a start and an end date. Ideally, you would have a different one. Okay. Atlas Training, we're going to start it here, and we're going to end it over here on uh, 7, what is that, the 18th, at 5 p.m., okay? And we're going to go ahead and just leave it just like that. So basically, we're spanning multiple dates, okay? We're going from 16 
to 18. So now if I go back to my Elements of Time homepage and we look down at that area, okay, I started here and now I'm starting to span. Watch this. I'll actually find number 28 in here. Okay, here's 28. It's a span. Here's 28. It's a span. And by the way, it ends at 5. So I'm actually spanning across multiple type things. So say I say this is getting confusing. I'm like, wow, I've got so much stuff here on my calendar. If you're willing to play, here's what you do. You come up here and you basically say this. I only want my appointments. Go ahead and show me that. So it's still the same basic version, but now all of a sudden I'm just seeing my appointments versus my tickers or my this or this. Like you can you can contract these things however you want. If you're specific and you're like, wow, I really need to dial into certain date and time, like you literally can blast it out to whatever you wanted to. Um, let's say that you wanted from 6-1 uh, all the way up to 8-1 and you wanted the calendar version and say you wanted uh, extra small spaces and you didn't care, you wanted all things and you also wanted to see any sort of subs in case there were some subs, go get it. Like I'm still on the Elements of Time homepage, watch this. We're starting from 6-1. We're showing a calendar all the way out to 8-1. Okay? Like you can make your calendar look like whatever. See how it's really teeny blocks? That's because I told it to. Okay? What's your block size? Let's go huge. Let's see what that looks like. Okay? So here's still basically two months in huge block size. Like you can, you can technically play with your calendar depending on what you're trying to fit in there. This one has some sub stubs, subs. We've got some additional sub stuff that's going on here. We've got a ton of additional sub stuff that's going on here because I told it to show me the subs as well. I've got 11 start dates that happen. One end date ends on this thing. I've got four sub actions that happen here. And I have uh, three sub start dates. What the heck is that? If I click on it, guess what it's going to show me? Here's my sub start dates. Okay, like your subs are technically another way that you're just adding pieces to elements of time. Um, anyway, I, can, I can kind of tell by the look on your face that it's, it's time for a break. <laughs> okay, any, any questions? When we come back, we're going to review a little bit more on elements of time, and I'm also going to show you a thing called corp-wide settings that you can actually trick this out by default. Okay, But we will be coming back to elements of time.